good morning in this presentation we are going to see how we can trade in MCX crude oil today before looking into that let us see what happened in the last two days the chart which you are viewing is an one hour chart every single candlestick represents one one hour whenever you place cursor on a particular candlestick you can see the date below these double dotted vertical lines indicates the price closing and opening for the respective days we had moved to the next contract since the last contract got expired we need to update the price actions if you are a continuous follower of our presentations in the last few weeks uh, you may note that we were targeting 5320 and 5300 we had marked that zone and we are strictly following that zone unless until the price closing was just below that we didn't expect the price to move higher but uh, in the Monday presentation the price uh, you would have seen that the price came down and closed uh, below that zone so what we expected is that the market uh, trend has reversed and we expected that the possibilities for the crude continue its downtrend is much higher now let us see what happened after that so our expectation was clear that the market uh, may move down so now let us see so you can see this uh, double dotted vertical line this uh, candlestick indicates the price uh, uh, opening on 18th you can see the date below on 18th the market opened lower so you can see it continuously dropped uh, it came down till 5190 then it gave a bounce back and it closed to somewhere around um, 5213 zones yesterday also since uh, uh, it is uh, we had only the evening session we expected the trend to continue unless until uh, it went above this 5320 possibly this is uh, you can see that uh, uh, what we followed in the previous contract was 5320 which is equal to 5360 so this is the zone uh, just a 40 point gap so unless now we have we can decrease this top loss zone till 5320 like what we followed in the previous contract we can expect the market to gain to continue its selling but it was a huge drop yesterday you can see that uh, let me decrease the scale so that it will be easy for you to view so after the price opening in the evening session so the market continued uh, yesterday also we had a crude inventory report so that also supported the market price action and the price closed lower so you can see that it was clearly dominated by the trend here we want to point out few things uh, so you can see that in the last uh, few weeks uh, we were completely staying in the buy side uh, so unless until the trend is completely changed we got a clear confirmation then we had reversed our opinion and view why we are saying is that uh, that since the price has dropped to that extent there are few traders uh, we, we don't want to trade against the trend uh, why we want to put it forward is that we are serious trend follower we should not trade against the trend uh, since the price has dropped to this extent a person we may, we may think that uh, suddenly that since it has dropped more than 200 points uh, uh, around the 300 points uh, since the market has dropped it can give a bounce back let us go and buy it is like trading against the trend don't try to oversmart the market or what do your trading uh, see we need to go as a trader we need to go with the trend uh, we cannot go against the trend uh, so only after getting a clear confirmation we go against the trend uh, see like what we did uh, uh, in the on monday and tuesday see for the two weeks we even though there was a drop here and there we expected the market uh, unless until the trend uh, changes and uh, we got a clear confirmation then we went against the trend uh, so the because the trend has reversed uh, so wait for the market to give a, give a clear confirmation to take a buy decision so till then we expected crude to continue and stay in downtrend uh, now let us uh, go and see the overview in the international market and in the international market also we have changed the contract uh, uh, as uh, you know that um, uh, here every store every candlestick represents the same uh, one hour you can see the date and time and here the y-axis you can see the price quoted in terms of dollars uh, so uh, this is the zone 18th uh, hope you all as a continuous follower you also uh, all know that uh, how we move with the international market we keep these two averages we had drawn two averages and we consider that as a zone 
so you can see that after a big drop the price took the resistance here you can see the price took the resistance and it came down again it went and tested this uh, average on 19th so, so this is what happened uh, yesterday again it went up and tested the average and you can see it came down and dropped continuously so now the price is trading at 92.12 dollar the same price where the market closed yesterday so there may not be much change in the price opening in uh, crude market but there may be a few change based upon the rupee value since we are posting this presentation well before the currency markets and commodity market open so there may be few changes just because of the rupee factor so today also we can expect the market to stay in downtrend uh, in terms of uh, international values you can say the market can uh, has got every potential to reach $90 to $86 uh, till $86 the price can reach and come down so let us see what's going to happen so in terms of uh, Indian rupee we can say the major zone is uh, 5000 and 5020 possibly in near term you can expect 4960 and 4920 these are the uh, near target and the stop loss zone is uh, 5320 we know it is a huge stop loss zone uh, whenever the market bounces we had marked all the support and resistance lying uh, based upon seeing the previous uh, price actions we had marked it uh, for your uh, reference and you can go uh, you can pass and see these uh, support and resistance zones also so let us see what's going to happen during our trading session thanks a lot for watching our videos happy trading take care bye